Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Performance Tester Certification. We are in chapter 4 talking about performance testing task and continuing ahead with the next topic that is 4.2 Analysis, Design and Implementation. As we have a lot of things to be covered under this, we will be having a lot of subtopics to talk about and today we are just getting started with 4.2.1 typical communication protocols which must be considered for performance testing. To talk about the same, like what exactly typical communication protocols gets involved with testing and of course uh, that has to be considered in terms of performance testing and has to be selected to be the right set of protocols to design the scenarios or capture the inputs from the application in form of a Vuegen script which is like virtual user generator and uh, you have to set up that activity in form of a user from these protocols. As far as these protocols are being identified, your execution may not happen or probably you, your instructions may not be uh, populated in form of a script which can further be used for applying the load. So having an understanding of the set of protocols used by your application is very important. Being a performance tester, you must first identify that what are the set of protocols if it is built on multiple protocols, if it is built on single protocol, I think those things are outdated now and most of the applications are built on multi-protocol pr systems. So you need to identify those protocols which helps you to identify those set of APIs or functions which you need in a particular process to be measured as part of the performance. So having an understanding of protocols will definitely uh, make your job much smoother right at the beginning itself. So here we are talking about the typical list of communication protocols which can be used and most of the tools support them. So communication protocols defines a set of communication rules between computers and the system. Designing tests properly to target specific parts of the system requires understanding protocols. Communication protocols are often described by the open system interconnection which is OSI model layers where you can just refer them based on the ISO standard which is being uh, mentioned here, that is 74981. Although some protocols may fall outside of this model as well. For performance testing, protocols from layer 5, that is session layer to layer 7, that is application layer, are most commonly used for performance testing. So you need to really identify and work upon these layers on the multi-tier architecture to identify that what kind of protocols are used at these specific layers. Common protocols generally include from the database point of view, we do have ODBC, JDBC, and other vendor-specific protocols. Web, we have HTTP, HTTPS, HTML. Web service, we have SOAP and REST. I think we, we all being, you know, when you're listening to this tutorial, I do understand that you have been into performance testing for a while and you do understand that these protocols are supported by the latest technology tools for the performance testing like Loadrunner, Silk Performer or JMeter. So no matter whatever you're trying to use, you do have support of these fundamental protocols to be there before you get started with preparing your script. Generally speaking, the level of OSI layer, which is most in focus in the performance testing, relates to the level of the architecture being tested. When testing some low-level embedded architecture, for example, the lower number of layers of the OSI model will be mostly in focus. So again, here we are talking about the lower levels, that is layer 1 to few, uh, 1 to 4, and so on. And there we have additional protocols used for performance testing to add it up with the existing, calling it as a multi-protocol system. So here we have further classification, like from network point of view, we have DNS, FTP, IMAP, LDAP, POP3, SMTP, Windows Socket, and CORBA. From mobile point of view, we do have true client, SMP, and MMS, because these are the things which we, we generally need for mobile application performance testing. Remote access, we do have Citrix ICA and RTE, which will definitely help you to do those uh, remote testing on the RDP kind of concepts. And SOA, which we have MQ series, JSON, and WSCL. So as you see that, these are just a limited typical list of the protocol. But of course, we do talk about a lot many other things like we have Ajax, we have Java, we have, uh, you know, or working with SAP, you do have Sybil, you have 
Stingray and a lot of many other things which you work with. So generally, when you look at a tool, you do understand that how you can really find them together. I may be tagging a quick description or a quick list of uh, tutorial in the description where I have a series of tutorial on performance testing. So if in case you're interested to understand more about the tool interfaces, you can quickly have a look on these tutorials, which gives you an idea that what set of protocols do we really have and how to make use of them. But again, assuming that you already know a lot of things about performance testing, that may sound a little stupid, but still, if anyone wants to quickly have a quick look on these things, they can certainly do that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Going to get back to you with the next part of it, which is going to be into next section. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.